Imagine if you could get the coronavirus before it got you. This latest conclusion is based only on limited studies. These studies show that humic or fulvic acid is first a preventative because it interferes with a virus's ability to attach to a host cell, penetrate the host cell and reproduce itself. Virus and fulvic acid relationship as it coats and blocks replication of a virus. The immune system becomes much more effective in destroying the virus. So let's talk about the immense antiviral power of fulvic acid. These claims cannot be used to advertise or promote the sale of products containing fulvic and or humic acids. They are clinical studies in the public domain, making it legal to publish the studies. However, according to the government regulations, may only be used for personal use to self-educate and share with others for enlightenment. They are not to be used to advertise for sales. So here are some of the studies conducted with fulvic acid. Over 50% of hospital patients noticed that they were able to sleep more relaxed when treated with fulvic acid, a humic extract. Improved sleep came as an added benefit since the patients were already being treated with the fulvic acid for various chronic diseases. Hospital studies have shown that patients with normally incurable epidemic hemorrhagic fever were able to be successfully treated with humic and fulvic acid extracts, which stopped bleeding, restored circulation, removed clots, was antiviral, and significantly bolstered and regulated the immune system. Extensive hospital eye clinic studies using humic and fulvic acid extracts showed 100% success in curing eye diseases caused by virus, bacteria, or fungus, also healing ulcerous wounds, relieving inflammation, and stopping hemorrhaging without side effects. Remarkable bone regeneration and resorption characteristics were identified when the animal bone implants were impregnated with a low molecular weight humic substance, that is, fulvic acid, prior to transplant into patients. The bone implant then became highly osteoconductive and served the host tissue as a guideline for the deposition of newly developing bone tissue. The same transplant procedure without the fulvic acid showed no signs of regeneration during the course of the experiment. While on the lookout for a new group of active agents with the ability to promote wound healing, the doctors came across the humic substances. The doctors said that the bone resorption is most easily explained by the known ability of humate to induce the activation of leukocytes. They said that previous experiments had established that humic substances are able to bind to calcium containing compounds, stimulate granulocytes and block the infectivity of the HIV virus. Multiple viruses inhibited. Preliminary in vitro studies with Coxsackie A9 virus, influenza A virus, and herpes simplex virus type 1, that is HSV-1, have already shown that humic substances are effective against both naked and enveloped DNA viruses. Further investigations corroborate the ability of humic or fulvic acid to inhibit selectively viruses for immunodeficiency virus type, that is HIV-1, and type 2, HIV-2, cytomegalovirus, or CMV, and vaccinia virus, virus fusion inhibition. With most viruses, the inhibitory effect of humic fulvic acid is directed specifically against an early stage of virus replication, namely virus attachment to cells. It appears likely that the polyanionic humic fulvic acids occupy positively charged domains of the viral envelope glycoproteins, which are necessary for virus attachment to the cell surface. Herpes. The effect of humic fulvic acids on an early stage of herpes virus replication has been confirmed by the results of animal experiments. The number of lesions in the cornea of HSV-1 infected rabbits was strongly reduced when a solution of the humic fulvic acid was applied to the conjunctival sac of the eye along with or immediately after the infectious agent. Current interest is directed to the prophylactic effect of humic fulvic acids on recurrent HSV infection. It is known that topical application of humic fulvic acid may significantly reduce or even completely suppress experimentally induced herpes 
in the mouse ear, though the mechanistic basis of this effect remains to be elucidated. Conclusion. Taken together, results so far show that humic fulvic acid substances are promising candidates for prophylactic rather than therapeutic use in the treatment of viral diseases. Scientific studies have demonstrated that if a host cell is penetrated before the introduction of the humic fulvic acid, the reproduction process is not halted. However, after the virus reproduces, the host cell releases the new virus into the bloodstream. At this point, if humic fulvic acid is present, it can prevent the new generations of virus from attaching to additional host cells. This is a therapeutic action that the above research has not specifically verified in procedure, hence the above conclusion. Further, the interaction of humic fulvic acid regarding the aforementioned viral studies would also be presumed to work for most, if not all, viral diseases. Other studies are currently going on throughout the world. Help for flu vaccine shortage. Natural humic acid coats viruses and makes it more difficult for them to attach to healthy cells and multiply. It has shown to reduce viral counts in numerous patients with a variety of viral inflictions, including hepatitis and HIV. Viruses are extremely small organisms that can easily get inside cells. They are parasitic in that they enter healthy cells where they reside and feed off these cells. They raise their young viruses within these cells to be spread to other cells inside and outside the body through sneezing, excretion of body fluids, sexual transmission, etc. Viruses contain a receptor binding protein that keeps them attached to the healthy cell. This protein encapsulates the virus and makes it resistant to attacks from the immune system. Humic fulvic acid is a nutrient from the soil that dilates a healthy cell and causes permeability so it can enter. When fulvic acid finds a virus, it coats it with a substance that not only prevents the virus from attaching to a healthy cell, but also sends a signal to the immune system alerting it to the invader. This kicks the immune system into action against the virus that has been laid vulnerable by this coating. As explained in the book, Live Disease Free, special processing by some supplemented manufacturers creates a viral infusion inhibitor that prevents the virus from reproducing by coating it so that it cannot attach to a human or animal cell. Therefore, viral counts are reduced and the immune system is more successful in ridding the body of the virus before it can gain a foothold and create an illness. Humic fulvic acid is selective and seems to know which cells are virus laden. It coats only those cells, leaving the healthy cells alone, so the immune system will attack only the virus. Studies have shown no negative side effects when using humic fulvic acid. The National Institute of Health concluded that humic fulvic acids exhibit effects both as a preventative and a curative from a broad range of viruses. They also indicated that if taken before introduction of the virus, patients exhibited a strong prophylactic effect. Medical studies show that difficult respiratory illnesses common in children are readily resolved with humic fulvic acid supplementation.